Hey everyone, we are currently in the series Train to Reign. And our midweek study today is focused on us being trained in the discipline of serving. Romans 8, 14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. We all know it's so easy to be led by our flesh, our comfort, and the circumstances that surround us, as Pastor Kevin said. However, as children of God, being led by Holy Spirit is crucial, especially in this area of serving. Now, as we kick off our session, can you as a group discuss new insights that you discovered about serving that you may have overlooked in the past? Please pause the video as you discuss. Each one of us is wired to serve. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. We all can serve God, but what does that even mean? There's a statement that was shared that I'm sure you'd remember. It goes like this. You cannot serve God except by serving his children. Now, let's discuss that for a moment. Please pause the video as you discuss. Now that we know we can serve God by serving his children, I want you to take some time and think about this. What stress signals have you been seeing around your workplace or community which indicate that people are struggling? Discuss how you can serve those people. Please pause the video as you discuss. I'm sure we listed a number of circumstances that we are seeing people going through in our communities. And in as much as we have mentioned some ways that we can deal with those issues, we have to make sure nothing will hinder us from actually serving people. And many of us end up not serving because we believe in our excuses more than anything. Now, let's talk about that. Have you ever struggled to serve because you believed you didn't have the time or the talent? Discuss why these excuses should not restrict you from serving. In Exodus chapter number four, from verse 10 to 12, Moses complained to God and gave an excuse why he couldn't serve, just like we've all done before. Uh, but it's important for us to know that the Lord is ready to equip us so that we can do all that he wants us to do. Holy Spirit empowers us to serve. Now let's discuss how he actually does that. How does Holy Spirit empower us to serve? He has wired us to serve, he empowers us to serve, and leads us in serving. Remember, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. What does it mean to be led by Holy Spirit? And whilst we're on that, let's take some time to reflect on this. If we are going to serve, then we have to be filled with Holy Spirit and train ourselves as well to be led by Him. Let us take some time to pray and ask Holy Spirit to fill us today so that He can empower us and lead us to serve. We've gone an extra step, a step further to help you engage in discipleship. We hope you notice that our midweek study guides now include discussion questions for families with children in sparks and flames. We want you to engage your children during the week in discipleship and make an impact in their lives. So here are the scripture references on the screen. Please jot them down. Please discuss the following questions with your children. How does it make you feel to know that you can always talk to God even when you're afraid? What do we learn about trusting God from the story of Isaac? Thank you all for making time to be together once again. Have a blessed week further. Be blessed.